Hey Legionnaires, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, when it comes to custom computers and, you know, especially gaming rigs or, or heavy workhorses, there's uh, workstations, there's uh, not much more important than your power supply. It is the beating heart of your uh, computer system. I have with me the Cougar CMX. Um, it's actually kind of odd. It doesn't say anywhere on the box. You wouldn't know from looking at it, but this is the 850 watt power supply. Um, it is a semi-modular power supply. Um, it says here, extreme performance, specifically target demanding gamers. Uh, you know, it says extremely high efficiency. It's 80 plus bronze rated, of course. Uh, comes with a three year warranty. Um, the fan, it says, is ultra-quiet and temperature-controlled, uh, 140 millimeter ball-bearing fan. Um, you know, basic things. Supports multi-GPU, so you can have a uh, Crossfire SLI. Um, let me see here, what else we got? It's got Japanese main capacitors. And uh, that's about all the information up front that you're going to want to really take a look at. On the back it has a chart of all their main power supplies, all the CMX, I mean, uh, ranging from the 550 up to a thousand watt. Again, I did mention this is the 850, um, so you're going to have your AC input, and DC output, and just, you know, all the things running across there. Uh, I lied. That's actually the connectors. I'm reading one table and, and pointing at a different table. Um, so your AC input on the 850, pretty standard, 100 to two, <clears throat> excuse me, 100 to 240 VAC, uh, 50 to 60 hertz, 10 to 5 amps. Um, then it shows for the 3.3 volt rail, the 5 volt rail, your 12 volt rails. And uh, all total, of course, 850. So on the 3.3, you're going to have 25 amps. On the 5 volt, 25 amps. On the 12 volt, on the first one, 50. Or on each 12 volt rail, you're going to have 50 amps. So, of course, we'll put all that to the test. Uh, see how stable those are, because that's the main thing. Stability and consistency, of course, when it comes to a power supply. Uh, that's what matters more than anything. I know a lot of guys, myself included, uh, you know, it's simple enough to just go with the biggest power supply you can move forward, but uh, that's not always the best route. That sometimes really hinders the efficiency. That's something I meant to mention. They've got back here uh, the efficiency chart where it shows that at 20%, it's 85. Looks like... Uh, 20% it's 85% efficient and then arcs up to 88% at 50% load. So uh, your 850 watt power supply running normally without any overclock is probably going to be around 50% load uh, in a standard you know custom build. It just depends what you have in there. I mean, in mine, it's definitely going to be around 50%. Um, once I get it overclocked up there, I can probably push it up almost to 100. Either way, though, that's what we're going to try to do. Let's get it on the table and open it up and take a look at it. Here we have the uh, Cougar CMX 850 watt power supply. This is the box. You can see it has a couple of nice graphics on it. Um, you can see that it looks like the power supply is going to be red. Uh, I kind of like that. I have an ROG build that it might look really great in. Again, this is from Cougar, the CMX uh, power supply unit. Um, three year warranty here, 80 plus bronze rating there. I showed just a moment ago in the video the efficiency ratings, the input and output for the different rails and everything. Um, of course you have English, Dutch, 
French and I don't know but uh, just a extremely high efficiency 80 plus bronze uh, ultra quiet temperature controlled 140 millimeter fan things I already told you really um, compatible with latest PC technology I would hope so um, highest durable and reliable 105 degrees Celsius Japanese main capacitor um, high performance at 40 degrees Celsius advanced modular cables um, energy consumption in standby is less than 0.3 watts so it's a uh, economy friendly electrical equipment so uh, either way let's get it open and take a good look at it alright first thing you have of course a little manual of sorts let's see what it covers multiple languages English, German, Russian uh, it looks like it covers warranty information, troubleshooting information, and of course specification tables over here, uh, warnings and safety notes, technical details and special features. Um, pretty sure that's going to be the stuff I just read off the outside of the box there. It is. So uh, either way, nice little uh, paper there. Um, your module excuse me I can't even talk your modular cables they come bound up ready to go these are flat cables uh, oh it looks like they are all branded each cable is stamped with the cougar name there so uh, if you don't mind that at all that's kind of nice set these aside for a moment I did mention it's it's a partially modular you can see it does have the which is fine with me really you do have the 8 pin CPU your 24 pin ATX and it looks like at least let me just get it unwrapped so I'm not guessing so yeah that's what I thought it was oh that's odd it actually has two 8 pin connections or it has an 8 pin and then a 2 by 4 pin connection for the CPU but then it does have one firmly attached PCIe expansion slot with a uh, 2 6 by 2 you can see it so it'll support one 8 by 8 or 8 by 6 uh, graphics card or any other PCIe expansion card um, without using any of the modular cables uh, which is fine I guess but I would still prefer being able to use those same flat cables uh, the cables are going to look dissimilar in the case um, of course most of us pretty good at hiding them it does come with your standard wall outlet with your standard connection there now let's get in and look at the actual power supply like I said it is red we have something else in here oh of course the screws and looks like five six zip ties for cable management so that's a nice deal let me get the box out of the way. Get this up here. As I stated, the power supply is red and black. Uh, you can see it's kind of a shiny, um, almost aluminum like coating uh, of red on there, stamped with the Cougar CMX and the Cougar logo a reflected a reflective brushed cougar logo here in the center of the fan 
you can see that large 140 millimeter fan uh, in there with a lot of room on the honeycomb for airflow. The entire back leaves a lot of honeycomb. Uh, pretty much the entire rear of the power supply uh, minus the switch. That switch feels pretty solid. It's a little bit larger than normal, but uh, that's fine. That's probably a good thing. Feels like a good solid switch. Um, the power supply itself is fairly hefty, but uh, feels a little bit lighter than other power supplies that I've held um, of a similar size. But I think that's actually just the casing making that uh, weight difference there. So again we have just the wall plug, screws and <clears throat> screws and zip ties and then the uh, flat modular cables. Now let's take a look at those and see what all different cables we're going to have here. We don't need these. Of course you're going to have some Molex, one cable with three Molex connectors on there. Um, see if there's another one, nope, just one Molex. And of course all this information is on the back of the box, we're just looking in here to uh, first off make sure we actually have everything listed, and uh, of course I'm sure we do. And second, just to actually get a visual reference. So this is the SATA power. You're going to have two of those with four SATA plugs on there. And then two extra try to straighten them out a little bit, pardon me two extra PCIe you know six by two slots so again this power supply is ready to support two graphics cards that need dual eight pin connections right out of the box um, at least physically with that 850 watts should be plenty for that also so gonna get it hooked up put her in a system and run OCCT and some other benchmarks and see exactly uh, how stable it is. Try to get you a view inside there a little better. That's about as good as I can get. But uh, you can see all the workings inside the power supply. We might as well, pardon me, just another moment. Bear with me while I talk about this side of the power supply. Uh, the side that's often not really paid too much attention to. The connections are kind of bright, they're red. So for me, that means that more than likely when I get it in the case, a lot of times you know it's dark inside your case and you're trying to plug everything in after routing your cables. and. Uh, once you do that, you're going to have, obviously, first off, these are color-coded. So you have black goes to black and red goes to red. I'm sure it probably says that in these directions. But the point is, it'll be easier to plug them in and see them in there. That'll be nice, too. All right, guys, so I just finished up all the testing and uh, the review for the Cougar CMX 850-watt power supply. And I'm fairly impressed. Uh, it's a good-looking power supply. Um, the aesthetic quality of the actual little uh, power supply that sits inside the case there really looks good. It's got the red accents, um, even with all the branding on it. I don't mind that at all, you know, good brand and all. Uh, the only complaint I really had as far as aesthetics goes, uh, and I kind of said that wrong. Either way, as far as aesthetics goes, is the cables don't really match. The cables that are built into the power supply, the 24-pin ATX, the 8-pin for the CPU, which comes in both an 8-pin and a 4x4, uh, and then the PCIe for the graphics or expansion cards, anything like that, 
Uh, those are your standard round bundle of cables um, with nylon banding around it, you know, pretty standard set. While the modular cables that actually plug in um, for expansion are all flat cables and they're all, you know, solid black with the Cougar in white stamped in the side of it. Uh, you know, has some nice branding on that. But so they don't really match. And while that doesn't matter that much, again, it's just aesthetics. It doesn't affect the uh, build quality. It doesn't affect the function of the power supply. Um, we all know that when we're building our rigs, especially some, you know, mid high end rigs, anything, we want it to look great. And again, this power supply looks really good. The only time you're going to have any, any, uh, any time where you can really see the difference because normally your 24 pin, your 8 pin, all that's going to be up behind it. But then you've got the uh, PCIe expansion and that plugs right into the front of the graphics cards. It's going to be right there front and center in a window or if you take the side panel off uh, it's going to be right there. And if you use two graphics cards, uh, you know, run an SLI or Crossfire or anything like that, you're really going to see the difference because you've got two different cables there. You've got one is the built into the power supply, it's round, it's nylon braided, and one is the uh, you know flat cabling that come with. Um, either way though, it's still a great product, very stable, all the testing shows that it's really stable. Um, a few of the rails were slightly on the low end, but really, really well within, uh, you know, expected reasonable, you know, variations and everything. Point is, I'm going to give the Cougar CMX a gold award. Uh, again, 850 watt power supply, more than most people are going to need. Uh, but if you do need the extra power, this has got it at, uh, again, 80 bronze rated. So, I mean, that's pretty standard. It's nice to be able to get, uh, for this price range, get a high quality product that is going to fulfill all your needs. Again, I'm Steve Cox with High Tech Legion signing out for you. Join us over on Facebook and uh, give, us a, give us a follow over on Twitter also. But more importantly, join us in our forums. We have discussions there. You can talk about anything you want there as far as you know technology and ask us questions. Talk about some of the reviews if you have a question that maybe we didn't cover. Anything like that. So join us in our forums at www.hitechlegion.com and uh, we hope to see you there.